What's up, YouTubers? How's it going? My name is Alton Henry, and welcome to Underrated Movies. Today, I would like to talk to you about a another underrated movie, which kind of went under the ra uh, radar. Uh, I didn't see this in theaters. Um, I wanted to see it, but I don't know. I just get a, I didn't get around to it. Um, I was working at the theater at the time uh, when this movie came out, and I saw some trailers of it online it's gotten good praise and uh, when I watched it, I, I had it bought uh, I really praise the storytelling in this I really really enjoyed how they told the story from the perspectives of each character and then it kind of went on then after um, there's three uh, there, well, before I go any further the movie I would like to mention is The Place Beyond the Pines a very very good crime thriller it's a more of a drama than a thriller it's a starring bradley cooper ryan gosling ava mendez and ray Rolata. and also stars rising actors dane dehan and emery kohan if i remember if i pronounce the guy's name it's about two fathers after one pacific event their lives collide and then their actions affect their sons a decade later that's the story is is divided into three acts ryan gosling's character bradley cooper's uh character and their sons the movie the basic basically the movie is about fathers who've done something wrong or done a pacific act that um will reflect later on um, on their sons and the three acts in this film starts off with Ryan Gosling's character who um, stars as a biker I don't remember the character's name but stars as a biker who um, who works at a uh, kind of like an amusement park or something who does like these bike tricks who um, meets his lady who I haven't seen in a while played by Ava Mendes who now is you know Ryan Gosling's current wife uh, he ends up uh, she ends up inform informing him that he has a child and then once he learns that he starts to rethink his whole life okay since I'm a dad how am I going to support my kid so he believes he does what he knows best is robbing banks and he does this by acquiring the assistance from Ben Mendelsohn another rising actor who's well getting there but um they they end up helping each other out and then he ends up getting money to support his son and then even Mendez and then the relationship starts to rekindle until he runs into Bradley Cooper's character a cop who um, ends up meeting Ryan Gosling and then once those characters met it goes on into um, Bradley Cooper um, event uh, situation after he deals with Ryan Gosling's character and okay if you haven't seen the movie this it's a spoiler so um, I will hate to spoil this now so if you don't want to <laughs> listen to this re review or uh, Bradley Cooper ends up killing Ryan Gosling's character they meet a second and bam that's it and then his actions from shooting Ryan Gosling's character reflects on him and in his situation from him being held as a hero being glorified for stopping a bank robber and then he um, finds out that he had a son Ryan Gosling Ryan Gosling's character had a son and then that reflects on him because he's just he just became a, new, uh, a dad so he's looking at his son and he's kind of haunted with the fact that he just killed a man who probably thought he was getting money you know from the banks for you know supporting his is his family and uh, he could tell you know based on what he learned from the character that he didn't live a very um well established life so uh his his life kind of go turns upside down and he 
um, reflects that and he can't really look at his son he feels like he's struggling to be a dad and coping with what happened and then he ends up running into these um, he ends up running into these crooked cops who steal money from Ryan Gosling's um, well who, well they steal money from Eva Mendes where Ryan Gosling uh, took um, the money and stashed it uh, which is a very um, tragic and well I'm gonna say tragic but very sad scene where he does or where, where Ray Willada does that who plays a crooked cop or a bad guy they gotta have him as a bad guy uh, bam 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 and then once uh, Brad, uh, Bradley Cooper realizes that they kind of just brought him along with him and assumed he would have been fine doing these acts he just he he tries to figure out what to do because these guys put him in a difficult situation where now he's um he's um you know um, got involved which he doesn't mean to involved with these crooked cops so he ends up dealing he, he ends up trying to deal with it by exposing what they um exposing that the crooked cops and what they do and then after that story um so after that, then the movie transitioned into their sons a decade later. So before, okay, before I explain the third act a bit, um, I really praise the storytelling in this where it tells each character's arcs. And I already mentioned this, but I really loved how this director, um, I only seen one other film he did. I really love how he just told his story based on the characters in this movie and then after one character was done they transitioned to another character and then they moved on to the next character which they end up focusing their um importance in that art or in that in that in that act in the film i really i really love the direction in this i i i can't praise that enough the acting in this is really solid um this is one of ryan gosling's best performance actually i like his performance in this Maybe a little bit better compared to his performance in um, uh, Blade Runner 2049. And really, he's only in the movie for 50 minutes. I feel like this is more Bradley Cooper's movie. And I think this is probably my favorite Bradley Cooper film. Because honestly, he hasn't done a whole lot of interesting and well-known movies that really stuck out to me. Except for this one. Um, I think he really stole the show in this arc and then when he appears in the third act which he's not focused a whole lot because it is because it does involve it does deal with their sons um, he's there he does give a good uh, one of the best performances of cliche title of his career <laughs> but he's really good in this I really like him in this and so is Dave DeHaan he's really good in this the um, Leonardo DiCaprio lookalike um, I guess the downside for me that I had issues with this movie and this is just for me, because I'm a little bit of a sucker for crime action somewhat movies. This is not an action movie. This is more of a drama. A really good drama. But I did wish that the movie had a little bit more action. And I think the movie has only had a, a $15 million budget. So there's only so so little that, that, that they could do. But when the action scenes did happen, which there was only one or two, I did like that one specific one where it was focused inside the car when they were chasing Ryan Gosling's character. That was very intense. Very intense. Even Menace was good, but I feel like her performance was overshadowed by the three, by the uh, two main leads, Ryan Gosling and Bradley Cooper. So I feel like she wasn't given a whole lot, a whole lot to do. So I kind of wish they kind of went into um, her a little bit more just to try to flesh her out with. The, her relationship with Ryan Gosling well just a little bit more just to, for her to have a little bit more screen time but the movie would have been a little bit long um, but I see why what they did what they did also the third act it just felt like a teen drama movie it, there were, there wasn't really anything unique about the third act and it, at certain points it did get a little bit boring but it doesn't pull me out from enjoying the movie the movie is you know the movie is pretty good the strong the the the, the act one two is probably it, it it is the strongest i believe act one is the strongest i think the movie would have been a little bit no well, no 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 i think the movie is fine the way they told their story like i said i loved it it just that third act is probably the weakest but i do recommend this movie i would 
I would have to, I would probably give it five stars. Five stars, five out of five. Uh, I, I do believe that this movie you should see because of the performances, the storytelling, and the uh, visuals in this. Um, the director in this did a really good job again. I mean, I wish he uh, would get more offers to do more movies. Um, could be just dramas, or I would actually, I would actually like to see if he could do a um, different genre um, per se. Um, but that third act did, you know, slow down a little bit for me. But it, like I said, I, the, I, I could over, I could overlook it because of the storytelling in this. So five out of five stars. Um, go check it out. If you do like this video, you can give it a like. You can also follow me on uh, uh, Stardust. I have a Stardust AJ Film Guy. And um, if you like this video, leave a, please leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video.